Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Trimble Scan Essentials extension for SketchUp to do a floor flatness calculation or um, visualization. It's really useful if you want to just find out, you know, how flat a floor is, where where a concrete floor actually has ridges and and valleys. Um, let me show you what we're working with here. This is a uh, point cloud of our classroom. Nothing too fancy. Two stations, one on the left, one on the right. Uh, everything's already processed uh, from, from RealWorks and stitched together. And so now we can go ahead and work off that. Um, one thing that I did in RealWorks too was that I classified a few things. So now I'm able actually to turn off things like the ceiling remaining, which is furniture and the walls so that I'm actually left with just the floor. Now, in my case here, there's a lot of furniture here in the middle so that, of course, it doesn't give me much data, but yeah, I can at least <laughs> explain the, the principle of this, but you would most probably would want to clean that up a little bit. So let's take a look at how this looks from above right here um, there's my floor obviously you can see there's still some you know um, reflections and stuff on the outside that we're going to ignore but um, in order to now find out how flat this floor actually is it's actually super easy just draw a rectangle make sure you don't snap onto the point cloud could have actually switched this to sketchup pick beforehand but I made sure that I didn't click on anything on the point cloud. So now you should be left with something like this here, basically a proper um, plane in SketchUp. I'm gonna just make mine a group, although I don't really have to, but um, it's a useful thing to do. Uh, okay, so now <clears throat> next we're gonna move this onto the plane of the floor. So now you need to figure out where your zero zero would be on the floor. Uh, yeah, whether you pick a high point or a low point is completely up to you. I'm just going to randomly pick a point maybe somewhere around here. And I'm going to basically move my rectangle, switch to picking on the point cloud. And then I'm gonna find myself a point that works. Okay, so this kind of works. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. And now we've got the entire floor on there. Okay, so I basically just picked a point somewhere around here where now the rectangle is properly placed on the floor. Okay, so that's step one. I'm going to go into top view just so that we see this a little better. <clears throat> Next, if you go back into the point cloud manager, on the very bottom there's the inspection tool, which is really useful usually to check whether your model is um, uh, well, basically hitting the points <laughs> and where, where it deviates from that. But in our case, we can actually use it for our purpose here. We can click on inspection map and then you would put in um, a, a tolerance that you're interested in. So, so if for whatever reason I want to have a 10 millimeter tolerance, then um, I get this colored like that. If I want to have an inch, then of course it looks like this. Yeah. And so now you can see a, a really nice color plot actually of the um, ups and downs of the floor. And, and you can start now to maybe um, highlight some of those uh, locations. So one, one thing that I found was um, if you, even with pick point cloud on, if you place this, it just does not want to give you the coordinates. <clears throat> what you gotta do there is if from the triple scan essentials toolbar, go to the construction point and then rather place a construction point on your point cloud. There we go. And then you would go ahead. Oops, now I'm gonna switch this to SketchUp entities. Oh, I don't seem to be 
catching it. Here we go. No. There it is. Okay. So now you can go ahead and simply um, get that construction point. Right here, I must probably out won't find the other construction point. I'm going to have to hide this guy. And do something like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to unhide right here. And now you can start annotating this. And you see, uh, you know, obviously the x and the y coordinates are not that important, but um, you do get your proper z measurement and you could actually then you know correct that one way or another but you can see real nicely what the difference is between these two locations <laughs> it's about an inch <laughs> anyways um so that's a really quick and easy way to do a floor flatness check and um you know you can then uh, export that one way or another as an image you can maybe do a screen capture or Whichever way you want to use this, obviously, um, it'll be quite useful. And it's all done with just simply the inspection map that is right in the tool. Right there.